नमस्कार दिस इज शिल्पा भावना एंड आई प्रेजेंट माय हार्टीएस्ट वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस यूनिक टॉक सीरीज चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स द ग्रोथ गेज इट इज प्रेजेंटेड बाय कमेटी फॉर मेंबर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री एंड बिजनेस द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स ऑफ इंडिया विथ एन एम टू डेवलप द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन ऑफ प्रोफेशनल्स आईसीआई हैज अंडरटेकन रिविजन ऑफ द चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंसी कोर्स to make it more aligned to the technological changes international developments and national education policy our examination system has been appreciated by the supreme court of india our members are trained to ensure both academic and practical excellence and to be value added service providers this makes them global professionals and in huge demand friends the best way to predict future is to create it and our country india is blessed with so many entrepreneurship gems who are round the clock working for the flourishing future of our nation but have you ever wondered that what happens when an entrepreneur also holds the qualification of chartered accountancy Let's find this out today. We are meeting the managing director of Muthoot Group who is also a chartered accountant. Yes, get ready to meet CA George Alexander Muthoot. CA George Alexander brings with him 30 years of encounter in overseeing commerce working within the field of financial administration. He has continuously been a rank holder. He has also gotten a few awards counting the ca business leader achiever beneath financial services division from institute of chartered accountants of india in 2013 so most welcome to the show <laughs> thank you thank you so how many generations of muthoot group are the entrepreneurs sir we should say we are the fourth generation fourth generation yes that's remarkable sir and how many of them are the chartered accountants so no i am the first chartered accountant the first chartered accountant in yes. the four generations of muthoot yes. group a chartered accountant and entrepreneur running the generations of the business how do you find this combination i feel as a chartered accountant it has always helped me only yeah. because it helps me to understand things much more better mm. and our core business is finance yes so being finance and core business the chartered accountants knowledge of accounting knowledge of all these things definitely helps us uh, and a chartered accountant understands the finances the best way i think it should be better than many others as you said that you are the first chartered accountant who's being the entrepreneur in the muthoot group like because there's a fourth generation now so who was your inspiration to become a chartered accountant first and then you joined the group as an entrepreneur or you always wanted to be an entrepreneur chartered accountancy came by chance to you yes chartered accountancy came as a requirement for the family okay okay with our fa- father i am the youngest of seven children i'm the youngest Are the others are doctors, engineers. There's one sister also. Okay. And finally, in the business at that time, mm-hmm. maybe I qualified in 1978. At that time, chartered accountants or an accountant mm-hmm. in a company in a business was a necessity. Mm-hmm. Was a necessity. So probably because the options for doctors gone, oh. elder brothers are doctors. engineer is gone uh-huh. what was left should have been something else yeah. and the need of the hour at that time was an account uh-huh. so and th- and something that was needful for the business yes, as well yes definitely definitely it was needful for the business so. whenever we have a business issue we run to the chartered account exactly because they are there to answer the queries yes so they are not only answering queries guiding us and helping us mm-hmm. hand holding us so even when i was studying in the college mm. before chartered getting into chartered accountancy i used to go for the meetings with the chartered accountant okay. accompany my parents with mm. the chartered accountants accompany my brothers with the chartered accountant so i got a, a liking for that also huh. so probably i thought then i also felt that uh, yes being a chartered accountant in the family will always be of 
help. But uh, when we say that an entrepreneur is holding the qualification of chartered accountancy and an entrepreneur who is not holding the qualification of chartered accountancy, what is the major difference that you find between both of them? I feel that uh, as a chartered accountant, in today's business also, mm. when new business proposals come, when new things are required and we have to have discussions with uh, maybe bigger uh, banks, institutions and also with uh, merchant bankers, all these people, uh, in-depth knowledge of accountancy always helps to understand things better. Mm. And uh, for me, I have a liking for numbers. Whenever somebody says this much, that much, this is the amount, this is that, mm. it clicks in my mind quickly. Okay. I, can, I can grasp it much better than many others. The implications of that, when somebody gives me a proposal mm. to do that, to do this, not to do that, the implications of that in numbers clicks to me quite fast. That is the advantage I see of my qualification. Yes, and so today's times when we say that uh, there is a chartered accountant in your business house, in your corporate house, today we can't say that a chartered accountant is just an accountant. It's far beyond that. So what would you like to call them today? Uh, we should not be seen only as an accountant. Hmm, it's, it's far not beyond an that. that. It's not, it's much, you should be much more. We are definitely, hmm. but uh, but names qualifies as accountant. Hmm. So chartered accountant should be much more than an accountant. At one point of time, chartered accountants were also known as auditors. Huh. So today, chartered accountant is not an accountant alone, not an auditor alone, yes. but he's actually a financial advisor, financial consultant. So, uh, sir, when we say that there is a financial advisor in a group like Muthoot, because as uh, you are yourself calling CA as a financial advisor, so we can call you also a financial advisor. So, how do you see your current role being uh, get a, getting much more uh, expectations in the group when you are a chartered accountant? See, uh, we have businesses, we have discussions, proposals, probably many merchant bankers come to yeah. us many institutions come to us with proposals. They propose things, but I, as a member of the family, as a, also a promoter with interest in the company, my views on the subjects which they speak cuts more uh, confidence with the family. I did my chartered accountancy with our own auditor. Oh, wow. So, of course, uh, I could learn many things, but of course, I could learn many things of our company also at that time. Knowing the business, working in the business has helped me in my studies also. When I was doing my BCom, uh, all the practical things in the commerce are what I see in my office. Yes. I am seeing practical. Exactly. Definitely it helped me in my uh, studies also. I was able to really excel in the uh, BCom as well as in the CA definitely because of my practical experience. Yes, exactly. So, sir, now as you are a chartered accountant, the first chartered accountant of the Muthoot Group, uh, who is now excelling as a like big giant entrepreneur. So, I would like to ask you that how welcoming now you are for other chartered accountants who are maybe expecting to join your group and just come your way and work in your like corporate style of a house. Soon as I qualified, okay. I got into the business. I started employing or started bringing in other chartered accountants also in the business. More than earlier? Definitely. And I always felt that uh, chartered accountants definitely are useful. Mm -hmm. Today, if you see my right hand man here is also a chartered accountant. I said, qualified. He is now the executive director. He is with me for the last 25 years. Wow, that's so, a quite so, long period. Okay, so today, today, if you look at it, the Muthur Group would be employing at least 40 to 45 chartered accountants in the company. That's quite a number. Youngsters, just qualified, lot of people who are. But I always have felt that a chartered accountant doing business not very easy because for a chartered accountant, he knows all the risks of the business. Uh, you understand the risk. When you are too much aware of risk, you don't take business decisions easily. Mm -hmm. But a chartered accountant also doing business is a very powerful combination. Wonderful. I don't want to name anything, but if you look at even some of the big CEOs, entrepreneurs here, some of them you would not know 
they are actually chartered accountants. That's beautiful, sir. Do you agree that chartered accountants are really pro to just find that uh, hidden power inside them while they are getting trained as a uh, like as a CA while they are getting their training of this qualification? So, do you see that they have got this trait of uh, finding that hidden power within them? See, as a profession in the chartered accountants, the uh, the chartered accountancy uh, system or the Chartered Accountancy Act, etc., mm -hmm. which qualifies a person for a chartered accountant in India, is definitely very good because you get practical experience the day one itself. Right there from are, the day one. Uh, right from day one, you get practical experience. So that ex definitely helps the uh, the the staff. And uh, there are quite a few good youngsters, etc., who when they see something or when they go through some accounts or some books, they are able to actually hit the nail on the head. That means saying, this yeah. is the crux of the matter. Exactly. This is the crux of the matter. That is something which you learn as we go, as we go forward in your training also, as a chart, as a student. If you ask me, the advice I, could, I should give to the young chartered accountants would be, don't think only as an auditor, huh. just representing the customer, the company in the income tax department, or the accountant who is preparing accounts, but he as a financial advisor, exactly. financial consultant. How can you help your client to do his business better? How can you advise your client to do things better? Okay. That should be what, it, and that is where the chartered accountant really will, uh, will, uh, will uh, actually be useful to the society. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of India have always facilitated the Indian professional services in establishing multinational service providers. People across the world follow various ancient established health practices to keep themselves healthy. Similarly, in India, the businesses rely heavily on the services of chartered accountants for maintaining their financial health. They are indeed the best known finance professionals who are capable of providing accurate and far-reaching guidance to all potential entrepreneurs and investors. ICAI is a hub of valued thought, leadership and innovation in the field of accounting, assurance, taxation, finance and business to make their students compatible for almost all the professional sectors. The USP and uniqueness of CA course is its article ship training. No any course can provide hands-on training while undergoing and passing various level of CA examination. Exposure and familiarity with the nitty-gritty and complexity of business methods and process are made available by this CA course to its article training. This training helps them in their practical and problem-solving requirement when they are ready to serve various stakeholders of the trade and industry. MSME is the backbone of Indian economy and to this backbone strength is provided by Indian Chartered Accountants. We cater all their needs be that setting up of businesses by securing various registrations under VAT laws, excise laws, income tax authorities, customs, MSMEs, trade license authorities, etc. Securing licenses from various sources, helping them conduct businesses, looking after ABC to XYZ functions of financing and finally helping them to reach a green colored figure below the line. Sir, I would like to ask you that as you mentioned that your part of becoming a chartered accountant came as in like need-based system in the generations business house that you people are running. So when you became a chartered accountant, how was that day when you got to know that now you have qualified as a CA? Definitely, I was really thrilled. I was really happy that I got through okay. and got through quickly also. I sometimes feel that uh, somebody who has not passed the exam, the knowledge of somebody who has not passed the exam and who has passed the exam, both was come tha, come yeah. hoga. But the status you get, the confidence you give to the others when you are a qualified chartered account yeah. is different. 
So that is the confidence which others also will start respecting you mm. when you have quietly qualified as a chartered accountant. Yeah. So that is the elation I felt when I complete I I passed the CEA final exam. So, uh, sir, as you said, that it adds up to the confidence when you are a qualified chartered accountant. And uh, how much confidence was more added when you got to know that you can use the prefix CA with your name because it happened later on? Yeah, 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 definitely. I think that was also uh, the second part of it. Uh -huh. That is being, being, able to to use, being able to use the prefix CA. Yeah. So, I think uh, that is also definitely helpful. Helping also. So, uh, so when you see today's students while they are preparing themselves to qualify as a chartered accountant, what is the difference that you find while you were preparing for your uh, CA qualification and what students are doing these days? What is the difference that you find and uh, the things that you, you would like to advise to the students in recent times? I qualified probably <clears throat> more than 40, 45 years back. Sorry. Times have changed, the syllabus would have changed. But the approach cannot change. Hmm. Approach to the students cannot change. The approach should be do things, study better, but look at everything in a practical side. Exactly. When you look at it in a practical side, you can remember things better, you can know things better. Probably there are some very <coughs> dry subjects like maybe a company law or a taxation law, etc. You may not be able to remember it while you are studying. Hmm. But if you look at it in the practical side, you will be able to remember better. Say if it is about GST, just look at what is the GST implications of some people, what are they doing, then you will be able to remember better. Mm. Whether the income tax, you look at the income tax return of some of your friends, some of your, your father, etc., your, your company, then while you are studying, you will be able to relate it more, remember it more. Yeah. If you just see it as just one lesson, or one chapter in a student, you may not be able to remember better. So, so rectification will not work. Yeah, ah, yeah. <laughs> so you will have to uh, see how it is applied. Uh -huh. Then you will know, you will be able to, why this is coming, why this act is coming, mm -hmm. why this section is required, mm -hmm. what is the need of this section, what happens if that section is not there in that act. Mm -hmm. All those things will you will be able to understand better and you will be able to remember better and you will be able to do at the exam also better. Just the theory, if you learn by heart, you may not you may not be able to excel, even in the exam and even after exam also. Even after exam, that's really good. <coughs> so, sir, if I ask you that in your current role as a managing director in the Muthood Group, so how do you see your CA qualification helping you out while executing your current role? But I should not get the feeling that only I, as a chartered accountant, knows everything or the new chartered accounts don't know anything. So the day I believe that there are others in the company, chartered accountants, non-chartered accountants, who are more knowledgeable than me, is when I should be, I will be able to manage things better. If I feel that everything is only I know, only I know, you don't know, then I think the company will not grow. So we, we have to give a free hand to others, but then, when people come and present things to you, this is done, this is done, my qualification definitely helps me to understand it, grasp it fast. You should no, be ready no. to learn more yes, every yes. time. And accept that others know better than you. At least many of them know better than you is what you need to accept. That's so good, sir. And uh, friends, in our professional careers as well, we need to remember, you know, uh, saying just, I know is okay but saying only I know, then it is a problem. So we need to be ready to accept people and to accept their suggestions, to accept their advice, and yes, to accept that they also know. Right, sir? Right, that's, that's exactly what I said. Yeah. So, uh, sir, what do you see the contributions of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India is towards backing up the careers of the students who are qualifying as a CA. So how do you see ICI's effort? I should first of all appreciate the CA Institute for coming up with the most inexpensive professional qualification in the country. Hmm. You go for any other course, you have to pay lakhs and lakhs hmm. and lakhs. Here is a course where you don't have to spend anything. The beauty of this profession is the the most inexpensive. Second is working and studying. 
is the biggest advantage in the chartered accountants. So how do you see the ROI of this profession? So ROI should be in huge number. There is the, the investment, the financial investment huh. for getting qualified is so little. Huh. But if you have the urge in you to study and pass, and if you get qualified quickly, mm. that is very good. Ladies both come to this profession. Yes. Today, there are a good number of girl students and lady students uh -huh. also coming to this profession. And that's good for the profession, that's good for the development of the country as well. Yes, yes. No, no two opinions about it. Thank you so much for giving your precious time to us. Uh, but before we say a goodbye to you, here is a special segment that I call Shilpa Bhavna special. So let's start. When I say an entrepreneur is driven by dash, what would be your opinion? Passion. Hmm? Passion. Passion. Wow. A chartered accountant is driven by? Numbers. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of India is driven by? Driven by its uh, uh, obligation to the country. Huh? And George Alexander Muthut is driven by? Passion. Wow. So I would actually say you started with a passion, you ended with a passion. So yes, an entrepreneur is really a passionate person. Yes. 100%. Thank you so much sir, for giving your precious time. It was wonderful interacting with you. Thank you, Thanks thank you. Definitely wonderful. Honorable Prime Minister of India has always considered the entrepreneurs as India's growth ambassadors. And when these growth ambassadors are bagged with the factual and practical knowledge of the financial sector and the financial world, we can actually make out that this person, this entrepreneur, could be a chartered accountant. And as CA George Alexander Muthut has said that a combination of an entrepreneur having a qualification of chartered accountancy is really powerful. So my dear friends, get ready to have that power, work hard to get that power and make that power work for the development of the country. On behalf of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India and the Committee for Members in Industry and Business, this is Shilpa Bhavna signing out for today. We'll see you next time. Much Jai Hind.